So last night, Mac dropped information on a BowPass coming along with microtransactions to Borderlands 3. Today, I'll give you guys my thoughts on this and what I already know about this matter. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this yourself, follow the instructions on screen now and good luck. Okay, so last night seems, Morning After Kill dropped a bombshell on the Borderlands community by stating a battle pass is on its way and so are microtransactions. We see them coming in February and he shows proof on this matter. Now let me first upstate, the chat he had with the Gearbox marketing manager, I had that very same chat. But I left with no information on a battle pass or microtransactions. So what we are going off here people is information dropped by Morning After Kill. So a battle pass and microtransactions, where do I stand on these? What do I feel they bring to the game? Are there any benefits at all? Is this a last ditch attempt in saving their game? Well, let me first off state and get out of the way. Borderlands 3 is a great great game. It's a game which offers a ton of content. It's fun and probably the best looter shooter out there. The problem is, this game isn't Borderlands 1 or 2. Because past Borderlands titles, mainly the first and second, were revolutionary in my opinion. They offered a pleasure via gaming you couldn't really get elsewhere, making them in reality the go-to looter shooters. Borderlands 2 in my opinion probably being the better one, and this is for the fact we were getting something that sucked to us in. The ground was nutty, but that point or that element of surprise when that certain item dropped was all a part of that fun and what got us addicted. And it's what made that grind effective in keeping us coming back. This cycle was picked upon by many game developers since Borderlands 1 and 2. We have seen many many looter shooters pick up almost where Borderlands are left off. Destiny probably being the main game. Now people who played Borderlands or Borderlands 2 will always say Destiny will never be as good as Borderlands. Which in many cases that's true. But games like Destiny took the elements of Borderlands and simplified them adding more things Borderlands didn't offer. Such as crazy deep lore, much more complicated raids, PvP and so much more. Bungie basically taking major elements from a few games and rolling them up into one. Making a great great game and a great franchise in Destiny. Now the issue is, and although like Max said, Borderlands 3 is the fastest selling Borderlands game in history, not my stats by the way, it also has the quickest fall off in terms of players leaving early. This isn't because Borderlands 3 is a bad game at all, it's because what we've expected from games over the course of 10 years since Borderlands was originally released has changed. Most people I speak to now who have stopped playing Borderlands will tell you it's because they expected more. And to be honest so did I. What that more is though I have no idea. What Gearbox and 2K did was take the better elements of Borderlands 2 and improve upon them for the most part. They didn't though take many elements from other games which people are drawn to besides their few easter eggs and references. And although this isn't bad, as it's Borderlands sticking to being Borderlands, in the long run it isn't going to help the franchise and it's what we're seeing right now, players falling off the game. Now gamers are always going to be drawn back to that game in which they first played. Destiny players will tell you Destiny is the much better game. It's because that's what they played first. If you played Borderlands first you will say that's the better game. But a lot of people have grown out of Borderlands, realise they're getting all the highs which Borderlands offers from other games, and then quickly going back to said games due to Borderlands only offering what Borderlands offers. And it leads to this, a battle pass and microtransactions. Now I will state, I did read ages back an article about microtransactions and that they were going to be a part of Borderlands 3. It was like early last year and I'm pretty sure the source was PC Gamer. But since then, we have seen Gearbox, Randy Pitchford, etc, etc on numerous occasions state microtransactions will not be a part of this game. So what's actually going on here? They seriously going back on their word? Well I don't know. Now where I stand on microtransactions is as follows. I don't really care about them, I mean some games, I'm fine with them. I'm happy that game developers include them. Sometimes they indeed help to make a better game in the long run, but for me, 
Borderlands is more than that. Borderlands is a game built on loot and implementing a factor of being able to buy the best looking loot takes everything away from Borderlands I've grown to love about it since BL1, even if it is just cosmetic. Borderlands is the original looter shooter in my opinion, it shouldn't be made into a looter spender. Incorporating microtransactions into BR3 I don't feel in any way possible can benefit us as a player. And that's that guys. I mean I fought long and hard about it, I've tried to conjure up a system where I can see it working in our benefit, but I just can't figure one out. If you have such a system in mind, let me know down below in that comment section, I'm super curious to know what that is. So what about a battle pass? Now I know this is a 50-50, I see people not minding about the incorporation of a battle pass and I see people hating the idea. Me personally I'm kind of on the fence, I can see the benefits of what it brings to the player but I can also see where people are coming from in terms of hating this, as it kind of makes you shift the pace to level up to max that rank out before that next battle pass drops. This is Borderlands. The thing is, Borderlands in my opinion is a chill game. I come here from playing D2, COD, Need for Speed, just to chill, loot and shoot. Would a battle pass change that fact? I think probably it would. Now obviously this is what Gearbox want, they want more people on their game more often. A battle pass drives people this way, it could indeed work for them. Now me, I ain't fussed if a battle pass is being incorporated into BR3, in fact I quite like something else to chase while playing. And this spoils off from the fact I've been spoiled from other loot shooters in expecting more. The question is, is a battle pass being incorporated into BR3 the more we expected from this game? I ain't sure about that. Now the month of February is where all this is supposed to be incorporated. So if this is true people, it won't be long now before we see official information on this matter. So keep your eyes peeled. Now as always, if any news drops surrounding Borderlands 3, I will have you covered right here on my channel channel. But guys tell me your thoughts on this matter, tell me what you think about a battle pass and microtransactions. But on that note we have come to the end, if you guys enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out, if you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.